Hello, welcome to St. Martha Children's Liturgy of the Word for Sunday, September 13th, our 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Let's stand and remember God's power is with us everywhere we go. All right, our first reading is a reading from the book of Sirach. If you forgive your friends when they mistreat you, your prayers will be answered and your sins forgiven. If you stay angry with someone, don't expect the Lord to heal you. Don't ask God to forgive you if you don't have pity on others. God will not forgive you if you stay angry at someone. So stop holding grudges and start obeying God. Think about the commands and the promise of God Most High. Then forget about the sins and the ignorance of others. The word of the Lord. And together, thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm today is, The Lord is kind and merciful. Repeat after me, or we say it with me, excuse me. The Lord is kind and merciful. With all my heart I praise the Lord, and with all that I am I praise His holy name. With all my heart I praise the Lord. I will never forget how kind He has been. Together, the Lord is kind and merciful. The Lord forgives our sins, heals us when we are sick, and protects us from death. His kindness and love are a crown on our heads. Together, the Lord is kind and merciful. How great is God's love for all who worship Him, greater than the distance between heaven and earth. How far has the Lord taken our sins from us? Farther than the distance from east to west. Together, 
The Lord is kind and merciful. Our second reading comes from the, re the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whether we live or die, it must be for God rather than for ourselves. Whether we live or die, it must be for the Lord. Alive or dead, we still belong to the Lord. This is because Christ died and rose to life so that he would be the Lord of the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. Together, thanks be to God. You know, this is kind of a strange little reading, but it's a very comforting one if you think of it. We belong to God always when we're alive here on this earth and when we're alive up in heaven and dead on earth. We always, always, always are a child of God. We belong to God and he loves and protects us everywhere we are on earth and in heaven. He's not going to forget us when we get to heaven and he sure is here to help us out on earth. Now let's get ready for our gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Together, glory to you, O Lord. Peter came up to the Lord and asked, How many times should I forgive someone who does something wrong to me? Is seven times enough? Jesus answered, Not just seven times, but seventy-seven times. This story will show you what the kingdom of heaven is like. One day, a king decided to call in his officials and ask them to give an account of what they owed him. As he was doing this, one official was brought in who owed him 50 million silver coins. But he didn't have enough money to pay what he owed. The king ordered him to be sold along with his wife and children and all he owned in order to pay the debt. The official got down on his knees and he began begging, Have pity on me and I will pay you every cent I owe. Well, the king felt sorry for him and let him go free. He even told the official that he did not have to pay back the money. As the official was leaving, he happened to meet another official who owed him a hundred silver coins. So he grabbed the man by the throat, he started choking him and he said, Pay me what you owe. The man got down on his knees and he began begging, Have pity on me and I will pay you back. But the first official refused to have pity. Instead, he went and had the other official put in jail until he could pay what he owed. When some other officials found out what had happened, they felt sorry for the man who had been put in jail. Then they told the king what had happened. The king called the first official back in and said, You're an evil man. When you begged for mercy, I said you did not have to pay back a cent. Don't you think you should show pity to someone else as I did to you? The king was so angry that he ordered the official to be tortured until he could pay back everything he owed. That is how my Father in heaven will treat you. If you don't forgive each of my followers with all your heart, together praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Boy, um, we sure don't want to be like that official, do we? We want to be like the king. Hi, boys and girls. How are you doing today? Our lesson this week is on forgiveness, and that has to go back to love. You know, we were talking about loving always, forgiving. Our first reading says, if you forgive your friends when they mis mistreat you, your prayers will be answered and your sins will for be forgiven. And then in our gospel, it's the story about um, 
where they asked Jesus how many how many times do I have to forgive someone? And, and seven times? Because seven was a really holy number. It was kind of a perfect number. It's a symbolic thing there. And Jesus said, no, 77 times. And you still keep forgiving. Because again, last week we talked about loving each other as we would want to be loved. And if we treat someone the way we want to be treated, we love them the way we want to be, want to be loved, then we're going to forgive them because we want to be forgiven when we mess up. And we all mess up. We're not perfect. Um, the only one who's perfect is God. And, and he wants to forgive all of our unperfectnesses. So um, we have to remember, forgive each other. Love each other. Um, I heard one, someone say one time that um, not forgiving someone is like us taking poison and expecting that other person to get sick. That other person isn't going to get sick if we take something bad for us. We're going to be the ones to get sick. Not forgiving someone is like a poison in us that makes us not whole, makes us not our best selves, and in, in some ways makes us feel sick, so um, spiritually sick. So we need to remember to always love the way we want to be loved and forgive the way we want to be forgiven. It's a simple message. Don't hold the grudges. Don't hold on to those things because they're not hurting the other person. They're hurting us. All right. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. Bye. Now let's say a prayer for someone in need. Close your eyes tight. Think of who you're going to pray for. Say a little prayer. And together, Lord, hear our prayer. Now let's go out. Remember, we need to be the light of Christ for each other. You guys stop your feet like that? Well, let's try it again. That's it. Thank you so much and have a blessed week.